Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome uh, in our presentation about uh, uh, World Record, Guinness World Record Editon. Uh, the title is Reviewing the Community Spirit, uh, Guinness World Record Editon as Uniting Experience, a case study. Uh, my name is Tomasz Przeborowski, nickname Gdarin. I'm uh, chair of Wikimedia Polska, and my colleague, Marek Lewandowski, uh, is uh, uh, also from Wikimedia Polska. He works for us as event expert. And uh, we together uh, tell you some uh, information about the editor, and then you will have time to ask us questions, and then we answer uh, all of them. What is the story of this uh, of this uh, breaking record? Uh, on September uh, 26 to 20 uh, to 30 uh, uh, in 20, uh, <laughs> 2023, the Polish Wikipedia community uh, undertook an ambition task. We tried to break the record, uh, the Guinness record, for the longest editor. Uh, it was established in Mexico City in 2016, and then uh, volunteers edited Wikipedia during 72 hours. Uh, at first, we tried to do this uh, um, uh, event uh, in 2020, but because of COVID, it, was, it wasn't possible. But after a few years, we started uh, again with the idea. And then uh, we thought about more ambitious aim, not only break the record, the 72 hours, but do much more. 100 hours of editing Polish Wikipedia. And what was our goal? Our main goal was uh, to improve uh, Polish Wikipedia and uh, create articles regarding uh, broadly understood Polish heritage, like history, culture, architecture, literature, music, sport, and everything what we can connect with, uh, with, the, uh, with the heritage. Uh, the second goal was uh, to do something after the COVID times, which uh, unite our community to be to have some fun, to make uh, people happy to do together something unique, and something what uh, is quite uh, dif difficult to to to, to imagine uh, how to edit Wikipedia 100 hours uh, in the big uh, editor. So uh, it's possibly only when we think about our movement. So uh, Wikimedia movement uh, thrives on the dedication, passion of its global community, and uh, our uh, sustaining this vibrant community spirit demands ongoing effort and innovation in the types of events and meetings organized. So uh, we want to do something unique, something special, not uh, not uh, the event which uh, is uh, quite uh, the same every year, but something which is uh, memorable because of, uh, of its uh, uniqueness. So uh, this is uh, how we uh, started to think about it. I will tell you some more about our preparations to show you how we did it. The preparations took about half a year uh, and uh, uh, we had uh, uh, a pro pro uh, the owner of the project, it was uh, Marek Lewandowski, uh, and uh, also we have uh, organizing committee which uh, uh, which was uh, con uh, which is composed uh, and uh, from uh, experienced volunteers not only staff but uh, editors administrators uh, uh, also wikimedia polska board members like myself and others so a lot of people were engaged in the preparations uh, and some more information about it, uh, uh, say Marek Lewandowski. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, I will tell you something about uh, more, more about like technical aspects of uh, this editon. So um, the first, the very first step that we all needed to take with uh, our team 
and volunteers was to choose um, the right venue. So we had uh, several ideas, obviously, but uh, the most natural one was uh, to do this edit on in a library, library where you have like thousands of sources. And this is how we established uh, our first cooperation, um, first partnership, uh, which was absolutely crucial. Um, and it was uh, cooperation with the public library of the capital city of Warsaw and the other name of it, Central Library of the Mazovia province, uh, which hosted us, uh, which, which was absolutely uh, crucial and most important here. Um, hopefully one uh, of employees of library is uh, Wikipedion, our volunteer, Grzegorz Gogacz, and he was always responsible for uh, well being in touch and combining those two institutions. Um, yeah, it was crucial uh, because the library was answering our every need. And by saying this, I mean um, like huge requirements that was made by the Guinness Record Office. Uh, here you can see the picture of the main hall of the library. Mm, one of many actually, that was beautiful. Mm. So yes, these high and detailed requirements of the Guinness Record Office were mostly about uh, delivering evidence, evidences. Uh, so first it was like footage of every, absolutely every minute of attempt. Confirmation of all actions of auditor, uh, editors uh, made by independent witnesses observing uh, everything what was going on in the venue uh, in four-hour shifts and those witnesses could not be related to editors and organizers, like family. Um, at least 10 editors at the same time, at all times, uh, editing. Mm, well, the Guinness uh, Record Office did not limit how long uh, editors could work, so we created shifts, like six-hour shifts. Uh, list of edits should be delivered, um, and the presence of experienced editor uh, in every shift. So this is the list that maybe doesn't look uh, scary, but actually it was uh, challenging. Um, because we needed a lot of people, and a lot of people involved in this project, so the first question we asked ourselves was how to attract attention, how to involve the community. Uh, and the, one of the best ideas that actually one of our volunteers uh, did was uh, to send a mass message uh, via Wikipedia to the most active Wikipedians. And yes, this was this gives gave great result because instead of 60 editors that we were expecting, at the end 127 showed up. Um, managing all these registrations of participants and volunteers, um, shifts and changes in the schedule that was happening all the time was challenging. Backup both in people and tools. Uh, you've seen that uh, one of the requirements was to have 10 editors at the venue. Um, we always wanted to have registered 15 at least. Uh, the same with witnesses always want to have more. Uh, or in tools like uh, the camera or hard disk, we always wanted to have uh, twice more, not to fail because of some small thing. Um, employee shifts, I mean, workers of Wikimedia, Polska, uh, not everyone could and not everyone wanted to work in the night, so it was, uh, it was challenging. Accommodation close to the venue for all this group, um, and by the way, feeding people 24 hours a day, uh, which actually wasn't a challenge for us. We mm, invited like catering company uh, to, to the venue and it was a challenge for them to, to follow actually our, uh, our feedback. Mm. Yeah, so the highlights from the event are mostly. The amazing atmosphere of unity, like night and day. This is something that we realized quite quickly, that we all felt uh, one goal, one responsibility, uh, and like there was no drama, no differences. Uh, at that time, it was great. 
Um, the importance of teamwork, because absolutely it was not like one one person job. It was absolutely uh, common for for the whole team of Wikimedia and a lot of volunteers. Um, random people spontaneously joining it, joining in. It was something that we realized uh, during the the editon, and also is unusual uh, for events that we make, because people were just passing by. Uh, knew the library. Uh, the library is located in the center of, of Warsaw, and they were attracted by this uh, Guinness Ward. Uh, and yes, they were coming in and they were signing in um, and editing, and they stayed for long. So this is uh, absolutely unusual for our events because usually, uh, well, usually there is no Guinness Ward in, in the name, um, and usually we don't do this in the center of Warsaw. So yes, that was interesting and observ observation. Um, so 24 medical support and extra room for relaxation. This is actually um, just a part of uh, hospitality that I wanted to, to mention uh, that was very important to, um, to take care of this uh, big amount of people that are coming and uh, working like pro bono, absolutely. Um, and special closing party after the event, which was uh, very important part of celebration. Uh, we invited jazz musicians and and invented a concert, jazz concert. We were not uh, absolutely not sure about this genre and uh, how people will perceive uh, after such an elevating moment, which was this 100 hours. Uh, but actually, it was a great idea. Uh, it was like chilling down, calming down, uh, and it was I, I think even touching for for some of us. And yes, I could be talking about this probably for hours, maybe we'll answer your questions, but I will just finish with, uh, oh, by the way, there's a picture of this concert in another another space of this beautiful library. Maybe it gives you uh, some feeling about the atmosphere. And yeah, I will finish with the final numbers. So as you already know, 100 hours of editing, 127 editors showed up, almost 300 new articles. 13,000 editions in Polish Wikipedia, 9,000, almost 9,000 pages were edited, 32 witnesses and much more other volunteers not mentioned here, and every 30 seconds, this is the average editing speed. Uh, and I guess that's it for now. Now Tomasz will proceed. Thank you. And a uh, little more about uh, what we have learned about uh, editing in that uh, event. Uh, so uh, we were curious about uh, if people love it or not, or if it will be interesting for people. Maybe some of you are thinking, what I if is this a good idea to do to try to break our record? So we will tell you that people um, love it, uh, love uh, editing. Uh, in large groups, laugh, uh, editing together. Many people after this editon said to us, we should do this once again and uh, try to think about something, uh, something uh, maybe not breaking that record, record but do something extra and uh, something uh, unique again. And uh, you as Wikimedia Polska should try to find us something new because it is so exciting to, to do something together and not only uh, editing uh, at home as everyone here probably do, but you but meet together and do it and make some fun from being together. So this is uh, thing what uh, people laughed and I think many of them uh, still uh, remember the, this event and uh, were happy to, to, to talk about it. And people love uh, challenges. The fact we are doing something not easy because it wasn't easy. Sometimes we were very tired sitting at, for example, four or five a.m. and editing and to, after that day, next day, we had some rest and then again, it, it, it wasn't that easy as, as probably most of us 
fought before. No, it was quite uh, uh, it was quite big challenge. Maybe the biggest in our in history of Wikimedia Polska because uh, we haven't done something um, similar before, and people said yes, it was big challenge, but we achieved this uh, goal, and we love it that uh, that we had. You know, it's like climbing on the mountain. Yes, it's not easy, but after when you finish, see see uh, the top and see the hill and be uh, on the highest point of that mountain, you are happy that you achieved it, even if it was very difficult. So it was maybe imp a similar impression here. Uh, as we <laughs> said about large groups, it's this, uh, again, uh, people love to meet together. People love to be uh, like here in Ukimenia. Yes, we see the same. We love to be together, talk to each other, and uh, and uh, do some things together. And it's the same in the time of uh, editon. Of course, it was not only editing, but we can uh, we could uh, talk and uh, have some other conversation about Wikipedia or or about our movement. So it was a chance to people to know something more about it. Not only maybe some people who before only started uh, editing in Polish Wikipedia and now uh, they had uh, more knowledge about what Wikimedia Polska uh, does, for example, our other projects or our partners like uh, the one uh, Marek uh, said, the library, which was our crucial partner. And we are happy that we met young, uh, young editors. Uh, some of them were experienced, but some of them were uh, going uh, from the street, uh, seeing that something uh, uh, interesting is, is done in the library. They had some notes about it uh, somewhere in the internet or even on the streets where some, uh, some information that there is a, a breaking, uh, a, a try of breaking the record. So, uh, so, so. Uh, people uh, joined us, and it was very interesting for us. But even people uh, from uh, abroad, not only uh, not only Polish uh, Wik uh, Wikipedians, but also some people uh, abroad. Even if they couldn't uh, edit Polish Wikipedia, they helped us in, in the, with the organization, the event. They helped us with some some uh, things uh, uh, inside. So it was very uh, very interesting that people joined spontaneously uh, from, from the street. Uh, people, were, uh, uh, people showed up because they liked exciting events. So when you think about you, your country, what are you doing? Uh, think uh, what you can do to, 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 to be attractive for the people, yes? Uh, how, to, how to make people, uh, uh, the, the Wikipedia is something interesting, yes? When we edit, when we do it, we know that it is very exciting, but uh, for people who are not inside our movement, we need to have something special to, 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 to bring their attention. And uh, what I said before, uh, we it is not that easy to find uh, a new, challenge, that big challenge, but we will try. We have idea for next year and uh, the community is waiting for our announcement, but uh, we still thinking about details of the corporations and uh, I, uh, I may tell you that uh, something in that region is uh, going to happen next year if we decide to do it, but I'm pretty sure that we'll do and that will be not breaking the record uh, any, uh, like, uh, like it was in, in that time, but something completely different. Uh, editing Wikipedia in very special, unique place, and I hope we will do it. Uh, but uh, I will t show you some pictures from the from the uh, uh, breaking record of uh, uh, in the 2023. These people are witnesses, uh, which uh, uh, the, the, the task was uh, to count people. To, to, as Marek said, the minimum number of editing people all the time was mm. 10. So they, uh, they checked if people, of course, could go for a while out and, uh, and they tried uh, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to have all information about them, who's going in, who's going out. And uh, all the time we, we have uh, uh, certainly uh, at least 10 people editing inside. And uh, of course, sometimes were much more than ten, but ten was the minimum. So these people was on; they were not editing at all; they were uh, witnesses. 
and uh, there are people editing. It, they can, there is, some of you can see uh, you uh, there. For example, Eva, yes, <laughs> it's Eva here. And uh, uh, this is, yes, uh, editing in the day. It was quite uh, nice because uh, uh, it's always easier to, to find time after work or before the work. And uh, that time was not that difficult for us because it was quite easy to find people editing in the daytime. But what next? I will show you the time five. 55, 6 a.m. is the time when uh, where was the shift. People started at uh, uh, 0 a.m. And, uh, and the editing to 6, 6 hours, and then new shift. is. So some people are standing up, some still editing, like Piotr. Is Piotr here? Yes, there is Piotr here. So Piotr was was uh, was our most active editor in that editon. He was in many shifts in day and night and uh, how many? Half shifts, uh, fifty hours. Yes, the, about fifty hours editing in that in that editon. We we sometimes even ask him go uh, and have some rest. Yes, <laughs> don't uh, take too much uh, shifts uh, because we wanted to to be sure that everything will be okay with uh, his, uh, uh, you know, with his health. Uh, but uh, yes, there were people so engaged that they even uh, edited so much, fifty hours in this editon. Uh, but everyone who edited at least even one hour it was uh, good uh, for us because uh, the, the, he, he or she could experience the, the, this, this, this atmosphere, this unique atmosphere and the spirit of this event. So this is editing at the very difficult time, five o'clock. It's not obvious time to, to ask for editing Wikipedia. But I show you what was in the time, 100 hours. Yes, our aim was achieved, and then was, you know, uh, it, it was the time of our happiness. Yes, and everyone who were in that moment on the on the in, in the library, library went to the uh, to the place, and here's uh, uh, 100 exactly. So some people uh, here, and also. And the rest was the rest was here, <laughs> and all was you know with joy, with happiness. Yes, we did it. Yes, of course we haven't uh, we haven't uh, the knowledge if the record will be imp uh, will be uh, in, uh, approved by a record uh, um, bureau. Yes, it, we we waited few months uh, for the final decision because they needed to check everything our documentation uh, documentation all the videos yes we had everything 100 hours were on videos all the time and uh, all, it wasn't that obvious that they don't find anything wrong maybe 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 but of course we d we try to do everything as, as good as we could so uh, of course they said that is okay and uh, and uh, then uh, then uh, approved that uh, but uh, after a few months so so this is the final final moment in the library when people are so happy that that we achieved at least this mo this moment that after 100 hours everything is was done as good as, as we as we, uh, we thought uh, to do and uh, at this moment, uh, we thank you for the uh, listening of the presentation. But uh, we are ready to answer all your questions and uh, tell you something about uh, in details uh, what what is uh, what aspect of it is more uh, interesting for you. And uh, uh, okay, we will uh, come, Marek, because we will together answer the questions. So this is time for you to ask. Thank you. So did people have any kind of program beforehand, like what they were going to edit? They just spontaneously come up with We have uh, the pa pages uh, in uh, Polish Wikipedia, and there were some uh, some pages with, uh, with uh, for example, articles uh, which should be uh, 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 write it. So for example, if, if you had no idea what to uh, write, you could also have some sources in the, because it was a library. We haven't said about it, but it was possible to have some books in the place. 
many books were ready and it was easy because they were, were ready even work for us out, outside the hours, uh, normal hours. So even if you haven't a special idea, what would you like to, to, to write? Maybe you could choose uh, from some books and then have inspiration what to do. But people had, uh, most of people had the idea what to do and uh, some only of them wanted to, to, to be uh, said what is the proposition of ours, what to write, but it was, you know, the, the, the subject was so right that I think uh, uh, that, uh, that you could choose what is more interesting for you, yes? But there was my main subject that we didn't uh, t tell about. It was Polish heritage. Yes, Polish heritage is quite, you know, wide uh, subject. So uh, you, you could choose biographies, you could choose, you know, um, for example, for about uh, some uh, some uh, cities or some uh, some other places what you, what you would like to uh, write about or anything you, you would like. It was okay. So uh, then you have sources from the books. Of course, you could uh, try to find something in the internet if you would like. And so uh, I think that people uh, could find uh, uh, what they wanted, uh, and uh, it was uh, uh, how much uh, articles uh, we had that number. It was many, many around th thirteen thousand, thirty thousand uh, editions, I think. Uh, but the number of new articles, uh, 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 nearly three hundred. Yes, new articles. But of of course, some ad uh, older. Uh, pages were edited uh, and so uh, maybe uh, the, the the number of articles edited was much bigger than uh, 300 but 300 new articles were. so uh, just to finish this, this topic well this polish heritage was like announced for some time before the editon and of course it was a topic to to discuss and editors were discussing it so uh, yeah we always wanted to be uh, most prepared as, as possible so it was not like they were just coming in and then deciding what they will do so actually yes we, we were quite I think uh, prepared all right thank you young Jim from Wikimedia Korea so I just want to ask a very simple and a basic question how did you attract the peoples on that event I think I've said it at the at the beginning. Uh, one of the ideas was to send a mass message uh, through Wikipedia. Uh, but like, what I was in, in, interested is like there are lots of new editors. Did you like try to like the outreach to some kind of people so in other groups or somehow, or just mass message through? No mass message. I know for source like social media. We we were active at that time. Uh, and uh, and we're just inviting people, and this Guinness Award, I think, uh, yeah, attract people's attention. But at the beginning, we didn't have like a lot of new editors. Actually, we invited uh, most active and those people who are editing every day. That's interesting. Thank you. But uh, there are there were also a lot of information on uh, social media. Maybe uh, Yolanta could say something more about it. But uh, a lot of information in social media and also information on Polish Wikipedia. Uh, even uh, Wikimedia Foundation agreed to have you know the the, the big information on all in all pages on Polish Wikipedia that that, that, that event will go, uh, will have place. So uh, that information was for everyone who visited Polish Wikipedia and even somebody who haven't before done anything could think about it oh maybe I will try it so some some people could go from this uh, advertisement uh, and Piotr here uh, and, and some other editors are uh, reminding me that well, first of all there is a channel on discord that people are discussing a lot of stuff so it was the place where people were just uh, you know inviting themselves uh, and also uh, on one of our events, like the uh, year before, right? No, that the same year, but like uh, half year ago, yeah, before. We just mentioned it. Tomas uh, mentioned about uh, the fact. So there were like 100 active editors there. And it was actually a good moment to, to start it, to start this topic. And I think that the in, that, that information spread between people. Yes, somebody said to friends and uh, colleagues, "All uh, we are doing so in, interesting thing in Polish Wikipedia. Go with us." And maybe that was also the source for new people. 
joining us. Uh, and I think that all all this uh, all these possibilities could uh, be uh, resulting that the new people can come. Yes, it is always very interesting how to how to have new people in our movement in our Wikipedia's. And I thank you for your question because yes, I agree that this is always. Uh, very important for us to find new people not only having this what we have now but how to attract new people to 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 to, to do something for wikipedia i have a question about the librarians did they edit with you or were they at the library the whole time you mean the employees or yeah yeah mm -hmm. the employees at the library Yes, they were very, very uh, interested in this uh, in this uh, event, and they they also uh, all uh, even direction and uh, uh, and also some uh, people from this library went for us uh, to ask us if everything is okay, how take how can they help us with the sources? They were so happy they can give us all sources they have. I don't know how many of them in fact they edi editing uh, the yeah, probably a few, but. But they really felt yes, this but they were also. helpfully with all and very friendly, and they were happy that that, that that is going because it wasn't that easy for them because this library was uh, in that part closed for any other guests, of course, so it was not quite unusual for them, and it, and of course it was quite a different situation. But they were so happy that they doing something with us, and uh, and also Gregor and uh, his wife and other people there were very 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 friendly and happy. Yeah, they were very helpful. Yeah. Eva is, yeah. is is telling that they were bringing books yeah. very quickly. Yes, <laughs> all sources they had. Even in the middle of the night, uh, yes, remember we were dating in the uh, in the night time, so it's not easy to find sources in any library. Yes, in the time they are closing at some time, and and, it's, and that's it. And they helped us even at uh, twelve or two a.m. and give, gave us a lot of uh, sources when we wanted. So it is very very interesting that. So yes, as, as I have said at the well. beginning, it was just crucial that uh, this partnership and uh, the fact that employees like felt this spirit also, and they were just engaged because, you know, if if they want. Uh, there won't be workers in place and place in the night, for example, right? Because this this timing is unusual. Uh, Eva was mentioning here about the uh, great T-shirts that we had. Yes, I, I agree. It was a good idea. We, we had uh, different um, different well, colors. How we uh, maybe we can yeah. show you uh, somewhere the the T-shirts. It was a good idea because it dis distinguish uh, ah, groups. No, not the uh, direction. Of volunteers, organizers. Oh, this uh, was, uh, for example, for the witnesses. Yeah, the witnesses at, at, at and editors, right? Editors were in that color, yes, and uh, the, this. Uh, but but also there was uh, red ones for the staff, for example. Organizers, yeah. Pink, okay. Pink, by the way. <laughs> Pink, red, okay. It's the same. <laughs> I don't know if we have the the, the 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 picture here in the presentation of the the, the red ones or pink ones. <laughs> we don't have picture here, but we took these t-shirts, by the way, with us. Uh, there is a, p a picture of Foca with uh, that color. <laughs> okay, not so easy to see that. Okay, no, before there were no pictures. Na końcu też. Ah, Indy. Oh yes, that's fact. Uh, the, there is Grzegorz. There is Grzegorz, the man uh, up uh, is Grzegorz. He was uh, the man who, 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 with whom we have this cooperation. Uh, the, the the man who worked there, and he was uh, so happy to be with us. He's also editing Wikipedia, and uh, there is Michał Buczyński. Maybe some of you uh, know him, and other our uh, people uh, from our movement that editing. Uh, Wikipedia and also some of them editing other projects. Uh, so not only Wikipedia, but of course we edited only Wikipedia on, on, on that uh, editon. Yes, so uh, you've seen all the colors 
of the shirts. Maybe I will <laughs> try to f uh, take the one of these shirts tomorrow because I I had a, 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 a problem. What to choose today? The, this one or the Bebok? Bebok from Katowice one because it's unique ghost uh, from this region, unique even demon some say. So this is this is the reason I chosen this one. But tomorrow I will take one of these shirts, uh, and you can see the, it uh, when you see me tomorrow. <coughs> we are running out of time, so maybe the okay. last question. And anyone else? There is a ceremony soon. Okay. Um, although I came a bit late, so but I want to ask if the old editathon were done in Polish. Um, Polish, or you edited um, maybe English or other languages. We edited Polish Wikipedia. Our aim was only editing in Polish language. Uh, in Polish language, but of course uh, we can uh, choose uh, that. Uh, like we have now the contest in uh, that Wikimania that we can edit uh, articles about Silesian region in the many languages uh, every uh, which exists in Wikipedia. Uh, were all the edits done um, via a browser, or did you have any people editing on mobile, out of curiosity? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. In fact, maybe there was someone who editing it by mobile, but... I'm, I'm just looking around, maybe there is someone who knows the answer, Yamnik. Do you know? You remember? No. I hmm? don't... I think it was uh, yes. much easier to have laptop on that uh, edit on like that. Yes, we have rented la laptops, so they were available there in the library. So even if you just was passing by, you could enter and uh, yeah, actually mm, without computer, you could you could edit. So I think there were no on mo on mobile, no need. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, now for uh, in few minutes we are starting the ceremony of opening this wikimania so thank you thank you very much.